I like the impulse, but your timing is off. Camp on with Pixies right now. Friends in the beach, right? You can leave if you want to. I'll just, I'll wait for Alexis to get back here and I'll tell her everything I know. Or you can stay and convince me why I shouldn't. The guy grabs Morgan and I help Mom to take him Okay, down. no, no, start from the beginning. What guy grabbed Morgan? Some Zakar soldier. Uh, he was messed up, desperate, wounded too. Can you tell me what he looks like? Uh, I mean, I can do better than that. I can help you find him. We'll take care of this guy together. I know what this is about. Jason, right? You've been talking to him and he's blown everything out of proportion. Really? So then you weren't driving Alexis's car? Well, yes, but it was... You are 16 years old. You only have a learner's permit. I realize technically I broke a rule, but it was for a good cause. Michael really needed help. Then he should have called his parents. Michael's having a hard time getting reacting. No, 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 stop. I, don't, I really don't care about Michael's problems right now. I have my own sister to worry about. You stole your mother's car. That's a little harsh. Did you ask permission to use it? No. No, then you stole it. And Jason told me he saw you drinking at a club. I wasn't drinking, and the only reason I was there was because a friend of mine was about to make a big mistake. So, so wait a minute. Now you're, what, everybody's guardian angel? Can I help it if I'm everybody's rational one? Do you want me to tell you what I think? Do I have a choice? I think you're crying out for attention. And guess what? It's time for me to make sure attention gets paid. Now sit. Come on, Sam, give me a break. Okay, I've done a couple dumb things, in the service of others, I might add. But doesn't the rest of my record count for anything? I get straight A's, activities for days. I don't drink or do drugs, and <sighs> I could use a little less attention if you want to know the truth. Please try to remember when you're my age. Oh, you know what? I don't think my memory stretches that far back. And, and really, I don't, I don't know if you necessarily want it to, because it may backfire and I might come down on you a whole lot harder. You're lecturing your sister on the trouble she just got into it. Jake's. I wholeheartedly agree. No, actually, I didn't know about that. Please, Christina, by all means, fill me in. So, Morgan decided to follow me to Dad's. You know that path through the woods? Yeah. That's how we get back and forth. Anyway, this Sakar guy grabs him. Okay, you said, you said he was wounded. No, shot. By that time, Mom and I were coming in from different directions looking for Morgan, and she got there first. When I walked up, she was struggling with this creep, and he didn't even okay, see me coming. why did you and Carly go tracking through the woods? Why don't you call me or Sonny or, or Max or Milo somebody? Who knew something was going down with the Sakar faction? It was an ordinary night. We just wanted to make sure that Morgan wasn't getting lost. Anyway, you're missing the point. What's the point? Mom let the guy go. She told him that if he didn't hurt us, we wouldn't tell anyone we saw him. But the guy looked pretty messed up. I mean, I don't think he could get too far. We can still find no, him. No, I'm, go I'm gonna find him. Okay, look, I know that you're angry, that, that this guy scared your mother and your brother, and that you wanna protect- What I want is to prove myself. Michael decided to take a detour after physical therapy to Jake's and Christina showing not such good judgment decided to go to Jake's and talk him into leaving and that's when I walked in. Well, I am glad that Michael has someone he can trust. That and Carly mean well, but they can't relate. They really can't bring Michael up to speed on the year he missed. I think it's admirable that you have compassion for your brother. But sometimes you can be a, a little too generous for your own good. Michael's situation is very complicated. He's not just struggling with the loss of time. But Christina, he's got brain damage. And it's affecting his personality. I certainly hope he's in some kind of intensive therapy. He just needs a friend. You are his friend. But I don't think you understand how serious this is. Michael has poor impulse control, which means he could have an impulse to do something that's completely inappropriate, and I don't want him dragging you along for the ride. You have too much at stake. I know, Mom. It's good that you love your brother. Just keep your eye on the prize. Focus. Never let anything stand in the way of your goals. <sighs> okay. All right. You know, what's, what's done is done. Hopefully, Christina, now moving forward, won't repeat the same mistakes. No harm done. What you need to do right now is just focus on your recovery. Finding a career is part of that. I want you to teach me the business. No, it's not gonna happen. 
It's my heritage. Sonny Corinthos is my it, father. It doesn't mean that you have to be like him or do what he does. Sonny doesn't want that. But I do. I've thought about running things since I found out the coffee business was a front when I was like 10. Look, I'm not asking for special treatment. I'm willing, I mean, I want to work my Did way Did you up. not hear what I just said, Michael? You're not going down this road. But it's not your choice, is it? At least that's what you told me. Choose for yourself, Michael. This is me taking your advice. You don't have a realistic understanding of what it means to be in this business. Are you kidding? Who understands better? I took a bullet in the head. I spent a year in a coma for over this business. That's why I'm not going to put you at that kind of risk again. It's not, this is not happening. Wow. I never would have believed it, but you're just like the rest of them. <laughs> <laughs>